Hey everyone, welcome back to Radical Farming, your go-to source for innovative farming techniques and sustainable agricultural practices. Today, we're diving deep into the extraordinary life cycle of the black soldier fly, Hermesia lucens, with a special focus on the pupation stage and the fascinating emergence of adult flies. This life cycle not only represents an incredible natural process, but also offers significant benefits for organic waste management and animal feed production. Stick around to see how these tiny creatures can make a big impact on your farm. Introduction to the Black Soldier Fly's Role in Farming Black soldier flies have become essential to many farmers due to their ability to rapidly break down organic material and convert it into highly nutritious larvae that can be used as animal feed. These flies are unlike the typical houseflies many people are familiar with, black soldier flies are non-pestilent and play an indispensable role in recycling organic waste into usable biomass. In recent years, BSF larvae have gained recognition as a sustainable source of protein, capable of supplementing or even replacing conventional animal feed. Their larvae are rich in proteins and fats, which makes them an excellent feed for livestock, poultry, fish, and even reptiles. Not only does this help cut costs on animal feed, but it also reduces the need for environmentally harmful feed sources, like soy and fish meal. Black soldier flies contribute to a circular agricultural system, where food waste and manure are recycled back into the system, reducing landfill usage and lowering methane emissions. It's the epitome of sustainability in farming. But how exactly does this life cycle unfold? Let's break down the stages, focusing on the remarkable transformation that takes place during pupation. The Life Cycle of the Black Soldier Fly, An Overview The life cycle of the black soldier fly can be divided into four main stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Each of these stages plays a critical role in maintaining the balance of ecosystems and supporting sustainable agriculture practices. But before we dive into the intricacies of pupation, it's essential to understand the entire life cycle, as each phase builds upon the last. The first stage is the egg stage. Female black soldier flies lay their eggs near a suitable food source, typically in decaying organic matter, like food waste, compost, or manure. This ensures that when the eggs hatch, the larvae will have an abundant food source immediately available, Female BSFs are highly efficient in laying eggs and can deposit between 400 and 900 eggs in a single laying. These eggs are small, almost impossible to see with the naked eye, and are deposited in small crevices or folds to protect them from environmental hazards and predators. After about four days, these eggs hatch, and the larvae emerge, entering the larval stage, the longest and most critical part of the BSF life cycle from a farming perspective. The larvae are voracious feeders, consuming massive amounts of organic material. This stage lasts approximately two to four weeks, during which the larvae grow exponentially, increasing their size by over 200 times. They will consume all available nutrients in their environment, converting the waste into valuable protein and fats. At the end of the larval stage, the larvae enter the prepupal stage, where they prepare for metamorphosis. The prepupal larvae stop feeding and begin migrating to drier, secluded areas where they can safely pupate. It's at this point that their color changes from a creamy white to a dark brown or black, signaling the imminent transition to the next phase. This brings us to the pupal stage, the focus of our video today. During this stage, the larva undergoes one of nature's most remarkable transformations, which culminates in the emergence of the adult black soldier fly. The larval stage, the backbone of sustainable farming. Before we dive into the pupation process, let's take a closer look at the larval stage, as it is essential to understanding how black soldier flies can be used effectively on your farm. As mentioned earlier, BSF larvae are excellent at converting organic waste into high-quality biomass. This is what makes them so valuable to farmers. They can break down a wide variety of organic materials, including food waste, agricultural byproducts, and even animal manure. In fact, black soldier fly larvae can reduce the volume of waste by up to 50%, making them highly efficient decomposers. For farmers looking to incorporate black soldier flies into their systems, 
it's important to create an ideal environment for the larvae to thrive. This typically involves setting up a bin or container filled with organic waste where the larvae can feed. The key is to maintain the right balance of moisture and temperature. BSF larvae prefer warm conditions and can thrive in temperatures ranging from 24 degrees Celsius to 37 degrees Celsius, 75 degrees Fahrenheit to 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Keeping the substrate moist, but not waterlogged, is also important to ensure optimal larval growth. One of the greatest benefits of using BSF larvae in your farming system is that they require minimal input and maintenance. Once the larvae are introduced to a waste pile, they will begin feeding and growing rapidly. You can harvest the larvae at the end of the feeding stage to use them as a nutrient-dense feed source for livestock or allow them to pupate to continue the life cycle. Now, let's transition to the next stage of the black soldier fly's life cycle, pupation. The pupation process, metamorphosis in action. Pupation is arguably the most fascinating stage of the black soldier fly's life cycle. It marks the transition from larva to adult fly, a process that involves significant biological transformation. While the outside appearance of the pupa may seem static, inside, the fly is undergoing dramatic changes. After the larvae stop feeding and migrate to a dry location, they begin the pupation process. The outer layer of the larva hardens into what's known as a pupal casing, a protective shell that encases the developing fly. Inside this casing, the insect's body undergoes a process called histolysis, where larval tissues break down and are restructured into the adult form. Cells that were dormant during the larval stage now become active, leading to the development of new organs and structures, such as wings, legs, and compound eyes. This process is fueled by the energy stored during the larval stage. The fat and protein reserves the larva accumulated are essential for the metamorphosis, as the pupating insect does not feed during this time. Temperature and environmental conditions play a significant role in determining the length of the pupal stage. Under optimal conditions, the pupation period lasts about 7 to 14 days. However, if the temperature is lower, the process can take longer. Pupation is a critical phase, not only for the fly, but also for the farmer. During this time, the pupae are relatively inactive, which makes them easy to manage. Farmers can either allow the pupae to complete their transformation into adult flies, or harvest them at this stage. The pupae themselves are also rich in protein and can be used as animal feed, although most farmers prefer to harvest the larvae before pupation, as the larvae are softer and more digestible for animals. The Emergence of the Adult Fly, Eclosion After the transformation is complete, the adult black soldier fly is ready to emerge from the pupal casing. This process is known as eclosion. The adult fly uses specialized enzymes to break down the outer shell of the pupa, creating an opening through which it can escape. Upon emerging, the fly appears quite different from its larval form. It now has a sleek black body, large compound eyes, and long wings folded over its back. Interestingly, when the adult first emerges, its wings are soft and crumpled. The fly will spend the next few hours expanding and hardening its wings, a crucial process before it can take flight. During this time, the adult fly is vulnerable, as it cannot fly or defend itself against predators. Once the wings have fully developed and the fly is strong enough, it takes flight to begin its short adult life, which lasts only about 5 to 8 days. The adult black soldier fly does not feed, relying entirely on the energy reserves it built up during the larval stage. Its primary function is to mate and reproduce, continuing the life cycle by laying eggs in decaying organic material. The Role of the Adult Black Soldier Fly in the Farming Ecosystem While the adult black soldier fly does not contribute directly to waste decomposition or protein production, it plays a crucial role in the overall sustainability of the system. Adult flies are responsible for laying the next generation of eggs, which will hatch into larvae and continue the process of converting organic waste into usable biomass. In addition to their role in reproduction, adult black soldier flies are also beneficial in that they do not spread diseases or create nuisance problems for farmers. Unlike houseflies, which can be vectors for disease and are attracted to human food, black soldier flies are non-invasive and do not enter human dwellings. 
Moreover, the presence of adult black soldier flies can help deter other, less desirable insect species, such as houseflies, from infesting waste or compost piles. This natural deterrence helps maintain a healthy balance in the farming ecosystem, reducing the need for chemical pest control measures. Pupation, a key component of black soldier fly farming. Now that we've covered the entire life cycle, it's clear that the pupation stage is a pivotal moment in the black soldier fly's development. For farmers utilizing black soldier flies, understanding and managing this phase is essential for maintaining a healthy and productive colony. By providing the right environmental conditions for pupation, you can ensure a continuous supply of larvae for waste processing or animal feed. Additionally, allowing some pupae to fully develop into adult flies ensures that your colony remains self-sustaining. The adult flies will reproduce, laying more eggs, and perpetuating the cycle. This is crucial for farmers who want to maintain a long-term, sustainable black soldier fly system without constantly having to introduce new larvae from external sources. Harvesting pupae, best practices for farmers. For farmers looking to harvest black soldier fly pupae, timing is everything. The best time to harvest is right before the pupation process begins, as the larvae are at their peak nutritional value. However, if you choose to allow some larvae to pupate, it's important to monitor the conditions carefully. Pupae are best harvested when they are still firm and before the adult fly has begun to emerge. Once the adult fly starts the eclosion process, the pupae become less valuable as a feed source. To ensure a continuous supply of larvae, you can allow a portion of your colony to pupate and become adult flies, while harvesting the remaining larvae for animal feed. Closing Thoughts the black soldier fly's life cycle is a marvel of nature, offering an elegant solution to two of the biggest challenges facing modern farming, waste management and animal feed production. From egg to adult, each stage of the black soldier fly's development plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance of ecosystems and supporting sustainable agricultural practices. The pupation stage, in particular, represents a critical point in the fly's life cycle, marking the transition from waste-consuming larvae to the adult fly responsible for continuing the species. By understanding and managing this stage effectively, farmers can harness the full potential of black soldier flies, creating a closed-loop system that reduces waste, produces high-quality feed, and promotes sustainability. If you've enjoyed learning about the life cycle of the black soldier fly and its incredible potential for sustainable farming, be sure to implement these practices on your own farm. Experiment with the pupation process and find the best ways to maintain a healthy colony that will support your farming needs. Thank you so much for joining me on this in-depth journey through the life cycle of the black soldier fly. If you found this video helpful and informative, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Radical Farming, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and techniques for sustainable farming. Until next time, happy farming and take care.